Here's how to generate 10 plus qualified appointments every single week using LinkedIn paid ads for your coaching, consulting, or agency business. And no, it does not need to be expensive as everyone usually claims about LinkedIn ads. And the beautiful thing is that it is incredibly scalable and systematic, unlike referrals, and it actually builds trust and credibility rather than just feeling very spammy, like anyone who's just doing a bunch of cold outreach. All right, so step one is you wanna find your ideal target audience, and then you wanna warm them up with your first ad. And the beautiful thing about this step is that LinkedIn will allow you to find exactly your perfect ideal target market, whether that be in a specific industry such as finance or manufacturing, or maybe you're going after a particular geography or job title. You're able to actually utilize all those parameters and find your perfect customer just inside the database that LinkedIn already has. But the more important thing is what you're showing them because you want to optimize the likelihood that they'll actually want to book a call with you. And here is the secret. Most people that you're seeing on LinkedIn, what they'll usually do in their ad is they'll just say, hey, this is what my business does. We can help you achieve X, Y, and Z. Book a call with us or download this ebook guide thing. And that doesn't work. Instead, you want to focus on education centric ads. A video just like this, which someone can view directly on LinkedIn without needing to navigate anywhere else. And there are two primary reasons why that this is better. The first reason why is because people are so skeptical these days that they're probably not going to trust you enough to book a call with you unless they've seen your face a couple times, unless they've had at least a certain amount of interaction with you. This is the same reason why if you just send a cold email or a cold DM to a stranger, 99% of the time they will just ignore it. And you probably have gotten some of these messages yourself in your inbox and you've ignored them too. Whereas if you think about the people that you've actually booked calls with in the past, they're the people that you already trusted. Maybe you saw their contents, maybe they came in via some sort of friend's recommendation, but the common line is that you already trusted them somehow. So if that's the case, if prospects generally don't book meetings unless they already trust you, then what you're gonna wanna do is just focus on education and building that trust and expertise in the mind of your audience before you go for the kill. And that's why the first ad should always be more educational in nature so that you can build that goodwill. Now, the second reason why these education-centric ads are better is because it actually will save you a ton of money. Because the typical LinkedIn ads that you see most people deploying on LinkedIn force the prospect to leave LinkedIn to go to the vendor's website, to download something, to book a meeting. But LinkedIn, as well as every other social media platform, doesn't actually want its audience to leave their platform, obviously. So if your ad is driving people off the platform, then of course, you're gonna have to pay a lot more. Now here's the thing, if you're paying a bit more, but the conversions are really good, then it's fine. But what I was saying before is that generally speaking, people don't trust you enough that they'll actually convert once they're on your website because they just met you. You'll end up paying so much for people to actually click to your page and you'll ultimately not make enough of a return because of that lack of trust. And then the bill just goes up and up and up and up. Now it's different if your audience already know, likes and trusts you, if they've seen your face a bunch of times, even if you end up paying more money when they click to your website, it's probably worth it because they're gonna convert at a much higher rate once they're there. But that just simply is not the case with a brand new audience who does not know you yet. However, with education centric ads such as this one, where I'm providing a video or free content and you don't need to actually go to my website, you can just experience the value right here directly on LinkedIn. This is actually way cheaper. You're not needing to pay the premium because people aren't really clicking to your website and you're actually optimizing for people to just experience your content, to learn, to build trust in you. And that's the secret here to having hyper profitable LinkedIn ads and not needing to complain about how expensive it is like literally everyone else does. That's the first step, right? You find the cold audience and then you kind of warm them up with these educational centric video ads. But step two is really, really cool. And this is what we call indoctrination. Because what happens is let's say you showed your videos and your helpful content to 10,000 people. Now, a lot of them won't care. They won't even take the time to fully watch the content that you've given them. And that's okay. They simply are not good fits and they won't buy your stuff. But some percentage of your audience who did see your ad, whether it be 5% or 10%, they will actually watch the video. They'll actually consume the content and they'll think to themselves, oh, this is kind of interesting. Doesn't mean that they're ready to buy yet, but they're intrigued. And we call this the warm audience. Prospects who actually paid attention to the video, watched it, liked it. And this subset of the audience, we'll call this the warm audience, 
they're actually the perfect people for us to prioritize because they have the highest likelihood of actually converting down the line. The beautiful thing is with LinkedIn, you actually have all the data that you need to know exactly who is inside this warm audience. It'll just tell you who these prospects are. So what do we do with this warm audience? From there, you can actually send them additional content. For example, client results, testimonials to show that you can provide value, additional expert advice, just to further that level of credibility in their mind. And a slew of other things that you see here that can get them to the finish line. Here's the analogy that I'm going to use. Imagine your prospect is running a race. Anyone who knows nothing about you, they're a stranger, they're at the starting line. But the warm audience, because you've gotten them a little bit of context, they might be halfway through the race. And then giving the same warm audience additional context over the course of weeks and even months is what might get them from halfway through the race all the way to the finish line. And yes, we will be trying to indoctrinate them over the course of a longer period because, listen, Rome wasn't built in a day and neither is trust in a stranger. If you want them to actually book a call with you and spend some of their hard earned capital with you, you might need to just stay top of their mind and consistently show up in their feed again and again before they're actually willing to take that final step. Now, speaking of final steps, step three is actually converting them into the call. And this is critical, right? Because even if someone really does trust you and they've seen a ton of your content, it doesn't mean that they're gonna take the initiative to book a call all on their own. And you can even think about yourself as an example, right? How many influencers do you follow across all the social media platforms? I'm sure you're part of many newsletters and subscribe to many people's channels, yet you don't necessarily book a meeting with all of them, even though you like them. The key is we actually want to build out automated systems that make it incredibly easy for someone who already likes us to actually end up booking a meeting. How do we do this? Automated texts, automated emails, sending out DMs directly to them over social media in order to start a conversation, in order to proactively get them to book a meeting with us. It's by taking the burden of effort off them and onto us which will ultimately optimize the number of meetings that we're actually scheduling. And this is yet another reason why most people who run LinkedIn ads or social media ads in general don't get a good return. It's because they expect the client or the prospect to do all the work. But for us, we're willing to go the extra distance in order to make it insanely easy for someone to actually book a meeting with us with these automated systems that I just mentioned. So in summary, this is the high level system that'll help you generate 10 plus qualified calls every single week totally automated utilizing LinkedIn ads. So if you're a coach, consultant, agency owner, and you run a business which is frankly going after an audience which is on LinkedIn, you need to be building this. And the reality is most people in your industry, maybe even you right now, you're still stressing out over the fact that you rely too much on referrals and you don't have control over your lead gen. Or maybe you're doing things that just don't work anymore like sending out a bunch of cold messages which usually just gets ignored you have an opportunity now to utilize a channel that very few other people actually are even trying. And if you can solve it, you'll have access to a blue ocean worth of qualified leads that trust you and think that you're an expert because of the way that you're actually communicating with them. This is literally what I help my clients achieve. My name is Lloyd Yip. I run a consulting company called Attract and Scale, and we've helped over 140 plus customers around the world build systematic ways of growing their pipeline. Here are just some of the results. Fernando, who runs a marketing agency, we helped him hit 100K MRR. Manjit, he runs a real estate consulting firm. In this testimonial, he hit 47K, but actually he has later ones, which he was able to break even 70K per month. Chris runs an online tutoring business, also hit six figures per month. Ria runs a consulting firm helping nonprofits with their fundraising, almost six figures per month as well. And the list just goes on and on and on. I'm not gonna bore you with all of them. So if you're kind of curious to learn more, we can obviously jump on a quick call and help you out. You can book a meeting below, but if you're not ready, that's totally fine because we'll continue sending additional content to educate you, to show you how this system actually works behind the scenes. And whenever you're ready, we can have that conversation, all right?